Hey guys, so I've been thinking about buzz pollination lately. And you've probably heard of buzz pollination. There's actually some really cool YouTube videos out there about buzz pollination. But I was thinking back to when I first started social media with bees. So we had just written this book, Bees in Your Backyard. Uh, and I had posted something. It was on It was on near Thanksgiving, like the day after Thanksgiving, the day before Thanksgiving. And I had posted this picture. Uh, so this is a picture by Bob Peterson. He let us use it in our book. And it's where we introduced buzz pollination. In this, this tweet, I think it was, as I just put something like, today I'm thankful for buzz pollination. And I got this reply. And so this was, again, like I said, early in my social media experience. And so I was kind of offended. So as you can see here, this person says, me too. So they're also thankful for buzz pollination. But then they says this is, they said, this is not buzz pollination, nor is it a buzz pollinator. And at first, I, I was taken aback a little bit. I was like, wait a second, what are they talking about? Like, I thought, am I wrong? I just finished this book about bees. And I think I was pretty sure I was, you know, fairly fluent in the world of bees and bee biology and all that stuff. But I started doubting myself. Um, I have wisened up and I don't necessarily care what people say on Twitter or Instagram or things. You know, sometimes they try to correct me. Sometimes they're right. Sometimes they're wrong. In this case, this person was wrong. And I grayed out their names so I don't you know, make them too embarrassed about their them being wrong. But and this is why. Because a lot of people, when they think of buzz pollination, they are only familiar with the idea of buzz pollination with bumblebees. So I, I just looked up buzz pollination on YouTube and like the videos that come up all show bumblebees, as you can see here. So bumblebees are great buzz pollinators. Let me just take a step back. So buzz pollination is this ability that some wild bees have to, they kind of uh, vibrate their wing muscles without flapping their wings. And it causes their vibrate, their body to vibrate at a certain frequency and causes some kinds of flowers to release the pollen that they otherwise wouldn't release. It's interesting because honeybees don't have the ability to buzz pollinate. They don't know how to do it. A lot of wild bees do have that ability, including bumblebees. So let's take a look at a buzz pollinator. This is a, a digger bee. You can hear it buzzing. It lands on the flower. It doesn't flap its wings, but it vibrates its body at a higher frequency. So you can hear the difference in the low pitched hum when it's flying and the high pitched of the buzz pollination. Listen. Did you hear it? There it goes again. So it's pretty fun to watch. So when people think of buzz pollinators, they think of bumblebees. Sometimes they think of other big bees like carpenter bees or, or other digger bees like these. But in fact, buzz pollination has been seen in almost every bee family. So there are mining bees that have been shown to buzz pollinate. There's sweat bees that have been shown to buzz pollinate, like that one that I posted on Twitter. Um, Buzz pollination is kind of widespread in bees. Recently, there was a published study that even showed some leafcutter bees have been seen buzz pollinating. Even some mason bees buzz pollinate. So, so far, honeybees are still not able to do it, but many other bees are buzz pollinators. So here's a little video I have of a bee in my yard. This is on one of my tomatillo plants. This is a polyester bee, Calides is the genus. And you can see it buzz pollinating. So first it's foraging around on this flower with its head down near the base of those stamens. Uh, then at the end here, I slow the video down and it vibrates its body, you kind of see the body, the body vibrating. And you can see some of these pollen grains falling off of the flower. So even these little bees like this polyester bee can be buzz pollinators. What's cool is many plants require buzz pollination. Things like tomatoes, tomatillos, uh, potatoes are all in the same family. They need buzz pollination. You get more tomatoes per vine if you have buzz pollinators around. Same thing with blueberries. Blueberry flowers uh, produce more fruit on those on those blueberry blueberry bushes if you have buzz pollinators around. So another reason to celebrate these wild pollinators is because of the buzz pollination. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you that it's more than just bumblebees. Thanks for watching.